and the band in question actually, other than the kick drum, the only other thing that is live of their show is the rest of the drum kit. Every other instrument is completely 100% backing track. Got a lot of heat this last week. I have got a lot of hate. There's a lot of um I don't normally let it piss me off. I'm a firm believer in energy, right? Not to get all woo-woo with you, but there's a lot of negative energy going my way this week and I felt it in my bones because of what I said about the kicks being on track. And that slowly throughout the week more people have come out of the woodwork and gone, actually, yeah, he's right. I didn't make it up, didn't say it for a joke. My issue, the problem was, right, I made a statement, if anyone doesn't know, I made a statement, uh, I was in a bad mood. If you look, the tweet before it uh, says, I'm gonna go out in a big ball of flames today, are you ready? Then the next tweet is, some of your favorite bands put all their kick drums on track and you're too dumb to notice. Um, and my key error there was saying that people are dumb because everyone takes everything so personally. So I got a lot of backlash. I got a lot of younger kids saying, why am I supposed to care? And actually that bummed me out more than anything else. And if you're unaware of why you're supposed to care, it's because there is a subsection of people who are truly elite at anything including the drums. And by, by cheating, and it is cheating, by putting a whole drum on the track, which I mean, they just use the audio from the album, uh, you do those people a disservice for all their hard work. You dilute how, what it means to be truly great. And it's not fair on anyone. And I'm not saying I'm truly great, but I'm saying that I bust my fucking ass to get better. And hearing that I could actually just put it on the track. And to quote someone, someone said, I don't care how the sausage gets made. As long as I'm fooled, I don't care. As long as I see a good show. And I was like, bro, go to the fucking theater then. Even in the theater, the microphones are on genuinely was such a bum out. And then I had a lot of people, a lot of techs, uh, a lot of other people in other bands going, I don't believe this happens. I, I for one have never seen this. And it making me look like I'm lying, I'm not lying. I, three people hit me up and go, I know exactly who the band is. And we had a little chat about it. I had two other people hit me up with other bands. I think Ola England's video, I think he's talking about Dimmu Borgir. I don't know that for a fact. But he says he saw a band, a, a popular black metal band in about 2003 and he heard the kicks come through the PA. Um, now, around about 2003, 2004, Nick Barker left Dimmu Borgir and neither of those drummers are as good as uh, Nick Barker was. Could possibly be that. Uh, also, around sort of, if he, got his if he got his dates wrong, around 2007, Dimmu Borgir had that album In Sorti Diaboli. There's a track on In Sorti Diaboli, whatever it's called, In Sorti Diaboli, uh, where the kicks Inhuman. Now, I saw Dimmy Borgir on that tour, metronomically tight. I personally enjoyed how you compared not seeing that to not seeing a dog fucker. Now, to get into the dog fucker conversation, right? The comparison I made, this is what happened. I was thinking of, what is the most unspeakable thing that, Simon, I might get you to take this whole section out and we'll put it on YouTube. What is the most unspeakable thing that we know happens but most sane people haven't done. That's the joke about kick drums. It's unspeakable. Most of us haven't done it, but we're sure that it happens. 
Now, I took the most unspeakable thing that I could think of, and then I changed the word to dog. Uh, so that's where that came from. And I'm very glad I changed that word to dog. In the drafts, let me tell you, that was not the word. Uh, it's not the best for upcoming younger drummers, seeing their favorite drummers sounding perfect live when in actual fact they have the kicks on track. Exactly, yeah. And it's, think about Chris Turner, right? That guy is inhuman and there's no one that can play kicks like him. There's no one. There's absolutely no one. Uh, but you can go and you can do it. It's like that other story of the YouTube juicer that got fired from his band like on day one. Yes, yes, yes. He was cheating. Came to a live show, couldn't cheat. Got fired. I think people should be less annoyed at auto-tune live than they are about kicks on the track. Because it's a much more, you still need to be hitting very close to that note. Or else it sounds like when Travis Scott was talking about we need an ambulance and he just went <laughs> I'm not saying, I like, I look at Architects, he doesn't use anything. I look at Sleep Token, I watch the Sleep Token um, sound check. That man is singing. That is, there's no auto tune, there's no nothing. But all of you, all of the metalcore bands, except for those that I know of, uh, use a little bit of juice, a little bit of auto tune juice. All of them, that's normal. They're still actually playing. The kicks is like, is the equivalent to lip syncing. Yeah, I, I, it's more forgivable for me for singers, maybe because I'm not a singer, but like, if you've got a cold, like that's different, that's the same as being injured. So there's two or three instances of, I know of bands having kicks on track because the person is injured. That's a different kettle of fish. That is using technology to get the show done. But if your drummer can't play certain sections, either practice or get a better drummer. And what annoys me actually even more about it, about the whole thing, is that I've actually, it, it went fucking stupidly viral, all the news websites. And there will be bands that see the majority backlash of people going, I don't care. There will be bands now, I've made it worse now, I've made it more of a problem. There will be more bands doing it because they didn't know they could get away with it. And now they're seeing comment after comment of people saying, I don't give a f And that is when, when that happens, I'm gonna start naming names. But currently, I'm not trying to get sued. I'm also not trying to ruin anyone's fucking day. I know full well that the drummer I, uh, I'm thinking of doesn't like it. And it's not his decision. And I've seen videos. I think he's. I think he he plays fine. And the band in question, actually, other than the kick drum, the only other thing that is live of their show is the rest of the drum kit. Every other instrument is completely 100% backing track. Now, would I have got more, less heat if I announced that part of it? Most people in the industry know. Um, and most people aren't gonna, they're not talking up about it, but everyone's very unhappy with me. 